go to easymud.com. Use code CUTE for your discount for the cheapest, fastest delivery. You can even get an instant refund, but why would you? Go save your money. I love this company. You will too. Go enjoy your coins. All right, guys, we are back. Top 10 running backs. Short to the point. If you like that, hit the like button. Do at least three videos every day. I just did a video on which pre-order should you actually order for 24. A lot of info's out. And when does Madden 24 come out? I did a video on that. Now, go check out both of those. Let's get to this. Top 10 running backs. They finally fixed the X factors on the running back. So that is open up the whole list of all these cards. We're going to break them down right now. AJ Dillon is still number 10 and yes he's not gonna be higher than 10 look at his Excel acceleration is terrible uh, so if his X factor is not lighting up you got to get him out of the game uh, he's that bad with his X factor but hey if his X factor is lighting up and you need somebody to the goal line he's gonna break that tackle for you if they don't have tackle supreme or secure tackler and it's gonna be a game changer right so they kind of ruined the running back position with the X Factor because they kind of deleted all of the golden tickets. They're not really relevant because they don't have the X Factor. So, up next, Derrick Henry is just an upgraded quad. That's all the other guys. I mean, he's faster, he has better abilities. So, there's no reason to get quad. Just go get King. Bruiser for zero is nice. So, King is going to be number nine. Number eight is going to be a non X Factor guy. To me, this is the best non-X Factor running back in the game. If you've not used him, don't knock him because he gets better animations. As you can spin, feels great. He breaks so many tackles and throws so many people off. It's just stupid, okay? That's how good he is. I love this card. He's on my team. He's not leaving my team. This guy here gets so many button battles. You're going to love him. Up next, back to the X Factor running backs that actually work this time. So... Uh, Williams it doesn't really feel like a power back. Um, I will say when his X Factor lighting up, obviously he's going to be effective. His catching, he dropped a couple passes from me when I had him. Obviously, I don't have no more. But uh, all of these X Factor running backs that came out, all of them have the same discounts. They were just lazy on that. And so I'm not going to keep recovering that and keep talking about it. I just, now you know. And yeah, Williams is not going to break as many tackles. This is his power back, but he has low strength and his catching is not reliable. Up next is Isaiah. Now, this guy here is going to run into an issue, okay? And the issue with this card is going to be, well, you see his route running. That's not a big issue if you're a running back, I guess. But I will say trucking with this card is very difficult. Uh, so he's going to be a disadvantage because... There's going to be a time there's a guy right in front of you. You need to truck him and you can't. You try to juke, it didn't work. So with that being said, Isaiah is at a disadvantage. Uh, he plays like an elusive back, which he is. So I prefer a power back that can do everything like Harris. Harris uh, definitely can truck people. This guy here has 99 truck. He's 6'2", 230 pounds. This guy here is actually good enough to be your running out for us to hear. He's actually... With his X Factor activated, his juke does feel good. His spin does not. So, can you use a spin? Yes, is the best. No. Look at the strength difference between him and Isaiah. That's why he's probably better. Now, up next is going to be Jeff Wilson. He's just going to be a faster Harris. Look at his speed compared to Harris. His strength is not as high, but I'm going to tell you something. He still truck with him. Uh, it's still usable as a truck machine and yeah with the x-factor guys we all know it's freight train so these guys got freight train so this is why they're going to be higher on the list now but let's see who's better up next is going to be eric diggerson he's just going to feel better than jeff and harris uh i'm going to tell you right now juke and spin is definitely better this he definitely has better spin i do like his catching uh i don't have any issues with that he gets more button battles than both of them so the issue with this card is he doesn't get Bruiser for zero, right? As the next card ahead of him does. So the next card ahead of him, is ahead of him because he gets abilities that actually are better. And we all know abilities run the game. 
Gus. Gus is gonna be number two, guys. Gus is gonna get Bruiser for zero. And yes, he's gonna have the speed, the button battles, the trucking, all of that. This card's amazing. He's still number two. But number one, it's it's Flash. Flash is still number one, guys. Because none of the new running backs run routes like this. None of the new running backs catch like this. Spec catch. None of them. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, his Juke has been amazing. And he does get the X Factor. And some of you may not know, and my newer people you say, well, he didn't get Freight Train. No, he gets Phenom. Phenom is just the same. It's going to be just fine. You're going to break those tackles, and I love him. So that's it for me, guys. You kind of for no reason. Go watch the other videos. Find out what pre-order you should buy and when this man came out. Both those videos are out. I'll see you in the next video. Special shout out to Justin Ashley for joining the channel. If you guys want to shout out in the video, all you do is join the channel. Thank you for all support. It means everything.